Hi, today I just want to talk about uh, Opel Corsa C and I understand Opel Corsa B has got the same type of engine. They have a problem where it's very high on fuel consumption, the fuel consumption in town is very high. And I found a problem, the earth wire which is running here between the, that brown one which is between the body and the engine, it was sitting here between that bolt and this one inside there, I don't know if you can see it or it's a bit dark but there is a bolt there so it is normally running between there and there from the factory but um, what happens is as the if the battery is, is lower or it's not fully charged uh, like you in town where you start the car a lot and stop and start with you use a lot of battery power the alternator which sits there the wires runs between the alternator, uh, the ground wire. Uh, runs between the alternator, it runs here, then it goes all the way to the battery. Now, if the alternator is charging, the battery voltage, uh, the negative voltage, is a little bit higher than the engine voltage. So, between ground of your engine and the battery ground, there's a, I measured a 0.1 volt difference. Now, the computer box which is reading the oxygen sensor on the engine on the exhaust between if you measure like I did here uh, between the sensor there the ground of that one and the battery um, then you get 0.1 volts difference and if you measure between that same oxygen sensor on the exhaust and the computer box you also get the 0.1 volts difference because because the computer box was off from here to that point and on the other side on the body to the battery so now as the alternator is charging the battery the battery voltage on the negative side is 1.1 volts higher than the computer box and um, the computer box measures the oxygen sensor which gives out 0.45 volts i think they said so that 0.1 volts difference makes that the uh, computer when it's supposed to sit around 0.45 volts and when it when it is at 0.45 volts the computer box only sees 0.35 volts so we think it's too lean so it add more petrol until it gets to point uh, five five volts, then the computer box will read. Now it's point four five, and then it thinks, okay, now the mixture, the petrol oxygen mixture is correct. So I just took out that wire from the battery and put it between the engine and the body here. So now there's less current flowing through here. The potential of the body of the engine, the ground there, and the ground on the computer box is basically the same or very close. So now the sensor reads correctly. Now it's not a problem, uh, as you can see there's currently zero volts difference between them but the car is switched off. I'm going to start the car and I'm also going to switch on the lights and you will see the voltage which is higher there and as it charges up let me switch on the light and start. So you see there's a 0.23 volts difference between there and the computer and that is with the lights on. Between this oxygen sensor and the battery you can see the voltage is uh, a bit higher but anyway so I changed that and it looks like it there's a slight improvement in fuel consumption it's just difficult to because we haven't driven it that far it's only 116 kilometers in town so let me switch off the lights so it's difficult to get exact numbers but it used to be at around 8.1 kilometers per liter in town now it's getting 8.6 kilometers per liter 
So I hope it can help someone. That's...